The rights of individuals are fundamental to any just society. But when law enforcement agencies violate these rights, it raises serious concerns about their integrity. A suspect detained at the Takwa Police Division has revealed alleged human rights abuses, including extended detention without due process and extortion by the police. The suspect, arrested in Kaswa after police failed to locate him in Takwa, where the alleged crime occurred, was transferred and held at the Takwa Division from August 29 to September 2 without bail. So when we had an information that one suspect had been arrested at Kasua and he was to be transferred to Takwa, we decided to come inside to follow this case and find out if indeed that was the order of the day at the Takwa police station. Further details from the investigation suggest that the police unlawfully kept the suspect in custody for more than 100 hours and demanded a payment of 2,000 cities from the family for his release in direct violation of Article 14.3 of the 1992 Constitution. Despite cooperating with investigations, the suspect remained in detention since August 29. So uh, because of it, I decided to formally petition strike. Someone called me from strike yesterday and asked a few questions about the very petition I took there. So I'm hoping that they will do as they are supposed to do as a mandated state institution, cloth with the powers to address issues of fundamental human rights abuses. A petition has been sent to the Ghana Police Service demanding accountability and justice for the ongoing abuse. I particularly petition about this issue. I added one other case. That person had been under detention for five days without he being taken to court and getting a remand warrant. So it is something that happens at the Takwa Division there. This case, though seemingly isolated, reflects a broader issue of unlawful practices within law enforcement. It serves as a wake-up call to both citizens and institutions to uphold the rule of law and ensure justice for all.